you know, webhooks are a easy way of sending certain bits of smartphone information uh, to another platform, whether that's for reporting purposes or if you're using a platform that can accept web hooks, you can uh, send some information uh, outside of the normal smartphone integration uh, and, and execute some, some um, actions inside of your CRM. And in the admin section of smartphone, you can find the web hooks. The web hooks are just over here. Go into the admin section and underneath marketplace, there's web hooks here. And you'll see, um, now you'll see, um, that I, uh, you'll see that I've created these two. One is to update the friendly name in Jordan's smartphone, and one is to push new numbers. Um, and just so uh, so you understand, the way you set up a web hook is you you really just select the endpoint URL. That's the that you that's the URL of where you're sending it to. So for those of you, uh, if you're using Podio like I use, you will um, likely create a flow inside of. Uh, Podio workflow automation to catch the webhook. If you're using Salesforce or InvestorFuse or, or Forefront or any of the other CRMs we connect to, you'll have to speak to them directly about how, to, uh, how they integrate webhooks. Or if you're using another system, right? You can also pass this off to Zapier and put it somewhere else or pass this to a Google Sheet or, you know, so there's lots of different reasons why you'd want to push this information somewhere else, either for reporting purposes or to do an action. And the actions or events that we have available at the moment are um, what happens when you add a number to DNC inside a smartphone, when you remove a number from the DNC list in smartphone, when you buy a number or delete a number, update the number's friendly name, when you add a number to spam, i.e. someone's called you and you want to market a spam, remove a number from the spam list when you add a user or delete a user. Those are the events that can trigger a webhook, which will send that specific information inside, well, to the webhook endpoint that you have specified here. And if we go back and look at the ones that I've already, to, uh, you know, that I've already set up, you'll see this first one is push new number. Uh, and if I if I look at it, you'll see that the URL is listed here. This is the URL I've created inside of uh, the the platform I'm pushing to. And these are the events that have happened already on that webhook. Now, what does that look like when something happens? Well, let's test it out. So I've, as you know, as you know, I've set up these two webhooks. One should fire when I buy a number, and the other should fire when I update the friendly name of that number. So let's buy a number. I'm going to quickly get a number. I don't care what. I'll buy it, and I've bought a number. So we've just bought 478-606-9122. Okay. Now, because I have a webhook set up for that event, inside of my system, I've got this phone numbers app. And if you can see these phone numbers. Uh, if I refresh the screen, there should be a brand new phone number there. And there is 478-606-9122. So because that event in smartphone happened, which was by a number, it immediately triggered the webhook, sent that information to where I told it to. That URL accepted the information and did what I told it to do. In this case, I told it to simply create a new number in this, a new item in this app. And the second webhook that I have set up is if I go to this number, let's say, and I want to change the friendly name to uh, user group Q and A and save it, that should trigger that second event. And I should be able to now go into uh, my system and refresh my screen. And the 478 is now user group Q and A. So I've, select, I've made those, those webhooks on those two events by a number and update the friendly name have been sent to that URL endpoint. It's accepted the information and it's done something. Um, I've seen this used a lot inside of something like Podio where you're wanting to send, you know, every time you add a user, it pops it into a user's app here or add a phone number like I have, but it's also incredibly useful across many different platforms. So for instance, if you are working with a, a system that checks the, um, uh, the health of your phone numbers. 
and they have an API, a webhook a ca a capability to accept webhooks, you could automatically send every number you buy to that system. You don't have to do anything. You just set the webhook up. You select the endpoint, uh, the URL that they tell you to, to send it to. And from then on, every number you buy will be pushed in. Likewise, every number you could set it up on delete so that when you delete a number, it can go and remove that number there. Or I know some people use it with Zapier to add a Google Sheets list for these things where they want to add a, D a separate DNC list just to keep track of it. All those are possible where you can use a webhook to automatically trigger um, on an event like we've just showed. And I know that we have uh, uh, in our roadmap, not only uh, we, are we going to be adding more events like the ones I showed you uh, in this event list here, but we're also going to be adding um, inbound webhooks as well so that you're going to be able to send certain bits of information inside the smartphone from potentially another system that you're using that isn't related to the direct CRM connection with we, we have with our integration partners. Uh, say, for instance, you are uh, working in an accountancy system uh, that you add your employees to and you want to you know, push them directly in, or you want to make sure that phone numbers are associated in another phone system, um, or you want to automate uh, I know that one of the inbound webhooks we're going to be bringing in in the next couple of quarters is the ability to uh, identify something as needing to be on the DNC list in your CRM and having it populated over and doing it inside of smartphones. So that those, those two-way easy uh, connections to give you extra functionality uh, are there. The webhooks are incredibly simple to set up. And really for these ones we have uh, available to us that are in this list, all you need is a receiving URL. And whatever system you're working in should essentially guide you on how to do that. If you're working inside of, um, you know, if you're if you're working inside of Podio, it's very simple to do it inside of the Podio workflow tool. Or if you're working in another integration system or wanting to send it somewhere like Google Sheets, you can easily create webhooks inside of your favorite automation platforms like Zapier or Make, I think it's called now, it used to be called Integromat, or any of those. All of those have the ability to accept webhooks and then give you the, the data that we send and let you do things um, based on that data. So it's very simple, but it can be really, really, it can be a massive time saver particularly if you're buying a lot of numbers and you want to make sure that they're stored in the right place or you want to make sure you keep track of what's been added to the DNC list and what's not, um, these simple webhooks can, can save you a lot of time.